They say we study history, so we're not doomed to repeat it. But if I could go back, I'd want to relive it. I'd want to be in the presence of those who gave their time and gave their life and gave everything they ever had for the sake of Islam, for the sake of man. And this month we celebrate the black Muslims who did all that for our sake. And I'm not just talking about those we all knew, Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, but our local heroes too. The ones who floated like a butterfly and stung like a bee. The ones who embodied Islam, true leaders of this deen. And though there are too many to mention, a few spring to mind. Friends, families, strangers, legends of our time. Let's go back to the era of the Rasul, when African slaves were being tortured for believing in the truth. Um Ayman, the woman from Jannah, Bilal, a caller, the first Mu'adhan, Sumayya and Yasir, the first martyrs of Islam, a people the Prophet said were equal to all men. Now let's move forward to the 20th century. A boxer, a fighter, Muhammad Ali, paid the rent for his room here on this earth, serving and helping others, putting people always first. Malcolm X, equality is what he always preached, was ready to die for those who couldn't speak. Respect for humans, regardless of their color, stood for his people so they no longer suffer. All these heroes made a change so we live better lives. So now let's see the seeds of their fruits during our time. In sports, the likes of Ibtihad Muhammad, a fencer, a woman, a Muslim with character, Bilal Phillips, a scholar, a man, a teacher, a person with knowledge, wrote books for thousands, made education accessible, taught Islam to the youth, inspired them to be better. And this poem would only grow bigger if I had all the time in the world. But I'll end it with this last person, a man I've never met, but heard. Bashir Usman. His name spread across nations, touched the hearts of strangers, a smile always on his face, a never-ending passion for positive change. This month, we celebrate all of those who have gone, the black Muslims that give now, and the ones that will come.